I'm getting physically abused by my fiance and I have been forced to prostitute my body for money for him. She's gonna keep doing what I tell her to do. But one of the guys that I was with raped me and beat me. They fought for equal rights and everything so she could equally get her ass out there and make money. That's when the beating started. Choking me, punching me. They may act like they don't want to be treated this way, but all of them want to be good. Even blacked my eye, broke my thumb, and dislocated my shoulder. I respect those that need to be respected. Almost a year ago, I had a miscarriage from a beating that he gave me. He kept kicking me in my stomach and punching me, and I told him to stop. There's nobody else for her but me. There's no woman in the world that should be with you. Yeah. <laughs> And you think that once you make this break, you think that you're going to stay strong enough and you're not going to go back home? Welcome to the show. My guest is Shantae. Shantae, you called the show? Yes. Why are you here today? Um, because I'm getting physically abused by my fiancé, and I have been forced to prostitute my body for money for him. Um, You've been forced to prostitute? For him, he's saying that we're not having enough money to pay the bills. I met him two years ago. The first year, everything was fine. It was nothing wrong. He actually treated me like I was the lady. Then a year later, that's when the beating started. He started choking me, punching me, even blacked my eye, broke my thumb, and dislocated my shoulder. And... It's hard, cause like, it's hard because just almost a year ago, I had a miscarriage from a beating that he gave me. He punched me in my face repeatedly, kept kicking me in my stomach and hitting my head against a china cabinet in our bedroom. Six months ago, I was forced to prostitute. I did it because I was afraid of him and what he'd do if I didn't do it. Three months ago, one of the guys that I was with actually raped me and beat me, choked me, was slapping me, and he thought that it, he, the guy that I was with was getting pleasure from it. So I started getting louder yelling. That's when he come out, the guy runs out the house. He came out of where? The closet. When I do... He's watching in the closet yes, while when I'm with my dates, he's in the closet or in the bedroom. And he hides and watches men have sex with you. And them. watch it. And, and this man was beating you, slapping you, raping you. And, and he watched it. And he thought that he was getting pleasure from it. That's when he ran out the closet because he knew that it was getting serious. And I ended up getting beat because I didn't get paid for that date. It's, it's hard, and I just don't want to be with him anymore. I'm tired of him. I feel like my self-esteem being with him has really gotten low. I feel like I'm nothing. I'm worthless. How? You're 20 years old, right? Yes. I mean, how did that make you feel that all this was going on, and he, didn't, he was watching it? And I feel worthless. I feel like he's pimping me. But he say he love me, he want to be with me, and everything, and I just don't believe if you really love me, you wouldn't have me doing what I'm doing. Yeah. And it's, it's really hard on me, because the only thing that I was hoping for was my baby. But because of him, I don't even have my baby. And the day that I found out I was pregnant was the day that I lost my baby. What did he do to you? He kept kicking me in my stomach and kicking me and punching me. And I told him to stop. And he wouldn't stop. It's like when I try to hit back or I try to run, it get worse. Why him. did he kick you in the stomach? He said he don't like my mouth. He don't like what? And he don't like what I say. And he thinks that I'm not supposed to, like, defend myself when it comes to him. Did he know you were pregnant? I didn't even get a chance to tell him before he started beating me. So you didn't even tell him? 
Here he's kicking you in the stomach, and he doesn't even know and he that said you're pregnant. It was my fault. He blames it on you. He blames it on me. He Shante, said, uh, you know, you have to explain to me, like, how how does a young woman put up with that? How does a young woman go through that? You know what, Steve? It's like he uses the excuse if I love him, I would do anything to help the family. And if he loves you, then he wouldn't do that to you, though. I mean, yeah, you, when you say to somebody, I'll do anything, you know, uh, you'll do anything for me if you really love me. But I'm not going to ask you to jump off a cliff. You know, I'm not going to ask you to harm somebody, harm yourself. I mean, you, you know better than that, don't you, than to be doing this? Yeah, but, I mean, I really have no control. I mean, he locks me in the house. I can't get in. I can't get out. He takes me to and from work and sit there until I get off work to make sure that I'm really you at work. You don't have a chance to call the police, do anything? Don't worry. I mean, come on. There's got to be something that you, you could say. I'm afraid. Well, yeah, I, that I don't doubt for one second. I mean, I'm really afraid because, like, even if I call and he get, I don't know the situation or what's going to happen to me. So I, like, deal with it. And I deal with it, and I'm tired of it. So why are you here today? To let him know that I'm leaving him. And, you are leaving him. And I want your help. I had to go outside and walk. And I found the date, brought him to the house. I felt disgusted. You don't plan on sitting on my stage, do you? I can stand it. Fullcoast.com. But log on after the show. So why are you here today? To let him know that I'm leaving him. And you are leaving him. And I want your help. And you... And you are going to get my help, and I will stand by you so you can leave somebody like this. Tell me about the first time he made you prostitute. First time, I had to go outside and walk, and I found the date, brought him to the house. You brought him back to your own house? To my house. And it's, he gave me rules or whatever to commit, do what they want to get done and to make sure that I get paid. So the first time I did it, I was scared. I was nervous. And he telling me to suck it up, go and do it, and get it over with so we can get this money. And I was scared. The guy was looking at me like, come on. So I started taking my clothes off slowly, scared, shaking. And I laid there. I was doing something that I didn't want to do. I felt like I was, I was really forced to do it. So once it was over with, he came out the closet and it was like, you did good, baby, and kissed me on the cheek. And I felt disgusted. I couldn't look in the mirror at myself. I just, I felt disgusted. Then it kept going on constantly and constantly to one of the dates that I had, didn't want to use protection. And the stuff that he tells me, my fiance tells me, replays in the back of my head. If I don't do it, I'm afraid I'm going, my beating is going to get worse. So one of the guys didn't want to use protection, and I end up catching an STD from it. Oh, what a, and I told him about it. He made sure I got clean and told me from this day forth, use protection on all my dates. And I tell him every day, I don't want to do this no more. I'm tired. And he tell me, we need the money. You love me. You're going to continue to do it. Does he work? Yeah. What does he do? He say he do construction. But you don't have any proof that he no. does construction? None. Does he bring home any money? Barely. Barely. And so he makes you prostitute? Yes, because I only work three days out the week. And my money and his money is not enough to pay the bills in the house. So he told me to start doing this. He suggested it. 
well, told me to do it, and I started doing it. And he got more accustomed to it, and it's like I'm, he's pimping me. And that's how I feel. He is pimping you. <laughs> how does he make you to, to go through this? He, like, he hit me, and I always say, you love me, you will do this for me, you will help this family, and everything. But as he said, he got 11 kids, and that's where all his money go. So I'm forced to... Do you have any kids? No, I lost my baby. But he has 11 kids. Do you love him? Part of me. What part? It's like... I really, it's like, I'm not in love with him. I loved him at first, but since this stuff a year ago, it's like my love for him has, like, faded away, but it's like a still big part of me that kind of do love him. And I, I really, I don't know. If he beats you viciously, he makes you sleep with other men, he basically watches another man rape you, he watched another man give you an STD, how do you have any love for a man like that? Because he made me, he made me feel like that one of the other men appreciate me. He made me feel like that, just that I have to take what he give me. You know, here's, see, everybody's level of acceptance or, or their, their feelings of what you'll do for me. Uh, honest to God, I think if you were with any man and, you being as sweet as you are and ch trying to please, that if you cooked a meal for a man, if his, if his underwear was clean when he came home, you did his laundry, those are the things that I think most men are grateful for, that you're home, that you're not out running the bars. And here this guy, he's, he's beating you down, and then he's sitting in the closet like some pervert watching you make money with other men. How often do you prostitute? Almost every day except for seven days out the month. Every day? Every day. Do you still want to be with them? No. You want to be done with them? Yeah, because I'm tired. Are you really ready to leave? Mm -hmm. I mean, you said you still love them on some yeah, certain level. But love not supposed to hurt. And I'm getting hurt. What made you to decide? What was, what was the moment where you said, okay, enough's enough? Because every night I go to sleep, I'm afraid for my life. So, I mean, either way, go, I'm in a life or death situation. Passing to and alone, your life is definitely on the line. And doing that, and being in this abusive relationship, I can't win for losing. So, I figure I just give it all up. And that means him as well. And you think that once you make this break today, I'm here to help you, you make this break, do you think that you're going to stay strong enough where you're not going to go back to him? Steve, I'm 20 years old. I haven't even experienced life yet. I'm just begun. And I'm not going to experience life being with him. And I, I, I want to know how I feel to be young. And, and how about really loved? Yeah. You don't plan on sitting on my stage, do you? They may act like they don't want to be treated this way, but all of them want to be wounded. An unsolved crime. I want you to call me at 1-888-STEVE-07. Have you ever said, hey, why the hell are you doing this to me? Yeah. And what does he say to you? He ain't got no excuse. He has no excuse? No excuse. And he'll tell me to shut up. I have no excuse, shut up. Pretty much. And what do you do? I go in a room and I cry. Well, today you can't go in a room and cry. Today you got to stand up and you got to say, I'm not taking it anymore.
So, Shantae, what I would like to do is I'm going to ask you to leave the stage, go out that door, and then I'm going to talk to Tim, and at some point I'll bring you back out. Okay. okay? All right, let's bring out, uh, you know, I'm not going to foot around it. This is her pimp, Tim. How you doing, Tim? Yes, sir, Timothy. You don't plan on sitting on my stage, do you? I can stand it. Did you say your name is Sir Timothy? That's right. And how did you come to acquire the name Sir Timothy? Because my father gave it to me. Uh, you gave you Sir Timothy, huh? That's right. Well, until you get commissioned an officer in the Marine Corps, I'll address you as Tim. No, you're going to address me as Sir Timothy or not at all. That's the way I was named, so that's how I'm going to be talked to. That's the way you're going to be talked to, huh? Yeah. Because you go around respecting other people? I respect those that need to be respected. What about Chante? When she deserves it. When she deserves it. Yeah. When does she deserve it? When she brings me what I need. And what's that? Money to pay the bills. Well, why don't you go get me some money? Why? You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing either. I don't need to. She do it for she me. Don't do, she don't need to. Yes, you don't need does. to, huh? Nope. Why, why should I? Why should I? Who the hell are you? Who are you? I'm Sir Timothy. I'm not That's who I am. I'm not sending out the woman I love. To, I'm sitting in some closet like some pervert. I'm not watching her no make pervert. love to some guy. I'm because I'm counting the money that's coming. You're that's the right. Money. That's right. Well, why don't you lay on your back and let some young buck take care of you? No, I don't need no young buck. I'm going to pay dinner and give it to her then. Why? Why would this woman stay with you beyond two seconds? Because there's nobody else for her but me. There's nobody else but you. That's right. There's no woman in the world that should be with you. Yeah, right. Any woman has to be with you. This is funny, because all women want it. They may act like they don't want to be treated this way, but all of them wants to be ruled. Listen, when God created man, he seen that he was lonely, so he created woman. Woman is here for my pleasure. I'm not here for theirs. And that's what women want, huh? Yep, they to don't please, have a choice. To please the great Sir Timothy? In that order. You think you're real slick, don't you? I know I am. You know you are. Yeah. What's wrong with you going out and earning your own money there, slick? Because I don't have to do it. I don't have to do it. That's her responsibility. I provided a place for her to do it and everything, so she's going to keep doing it. Not you, her family, anybody else going to stop her from doing it. What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. Nothing's wrong with you? No. What, provide, what stops you from going out and making your own money there? Because I don't need to. You don't need to. No. They fought for equal rights and everything, so she could equally get her ass out there and make money. You're uh, African-American descent, I take it? Yeah. So your thing is you don't need to. You can make somebody go out there, do your work, and make the money off their backs, right? Yeah. yeah there was a concept in this country like that about 200 years ago. Yeah. They made black men do all the work, and the white man profited off all the black man's work, and they were slaves. Well, we're living in a new age now. So now we're living in a new age where a black man could treat a woman like that? If need or be. Or you? If need be. If need be. If need be. Ever do, she like doing it, she's still there after two years. She don't get no days so off. You, Ain't you, no 401k you, you, plan you put, with this. You, you put your hands on her, right? Yeah. And, and you do this so to make make her make money, right? No, I do it so she'll keep her mouth shut and, keep her mouth and shut. do what she's supposed to do. Let's do what she's supposed to do. That's right. Okay, I, I'll say, okay, I'm not Chante. Make me your bitch. Anybody want to <laughs> Then you will be. Put your hands all over me. Make me do what you want. You're not even make, make it. Make it the Sir Timothy BS show. It ain't BS. It's a fact. Yeah. It's a fact. It ain't BS. But That's the way it is. There's a little difference between guys like you, right? Yeah, a little what? difference when you deal with people. 
when you deal with somebody that you know that you can pick on, you know somebody that you can intimidate. But then there's a difference when somebody stands up to you and says, you know what? You. You'll be scared just like she was if it weren't for all your security. Sir Timothy, I'll give you a little clue. Like I tell everybody else, those security guards, they're not here for me. They're here for you. garbage ass and get off my stage. We know for a fact that little Timothy, little Sir Timothy, we know that you can pick on a young girl, a teenage girl. We know Sir Timothy likes to hide in closets. I'm not hiding. Yeah. I'm over there watching. No, you like to hide in a closet. What? No. How, how, how big is the crack? Big enough so I can see how much is money is coming out. the crack? No. Yeah. No. Yeah, right. I, I keep saying, I'm, I'm here. But, oh, that's right. I'm a man. If you think that's you would, you would have, you, you would have a tough time dealing with a man. <laughs> Because usually there's like two little doors right here when you're looking at the van, right? And you're no. peeking through, kind of like that. Hey, I'm over here. I'm over here. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let me make you oh, feel more comfortable. Oh, I'll take my pants off, huh? Right, you're going to show your... You, you like to see that door behind, right? Yeah. yeah. I just want to see you pull your wallet out. <laughs> sir, sir, sir. Not, not used to seeing a guy with his clothes on, right? No, I'm not used to seeing a guy with his wallet in his pocket. That's yeah. what. You wouldn't know, because you ain't going out there getting the money. I ain't got to. No, you don't have to. You hide in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm every time, because a trick like you is coming off his money. When she was uh, getting beat up and raped the one time, that too? No, I wasn't there at that time. Oh, that one time you weren't in the closet? No. What, were you hiding under the bed? No, I was watching one of my other holes get murdered. You were watching one of your others. So she says you were in the closet, though, and it no. took you a long time to come out. Were you scared? No, I wasn't scared of nothing. Was that a guy that maybe, ooh, well, I'm just going to sit back here and let her handle her own problems? No. Yeah. It wasn't no problem. No, it wasn't no problem. Because what? Wasn't. It looked like she was enjoying it? Yeah. Oh, I thought you weren't she there. She got paid. I thought you weren't there. She got it's paid. Only, that's no the only thing that counts. <laughs> she got paid. That's the only thing that counts. Now, now we know not only you're a coward, you're a liar. I wasn't lying. Yeah. <laughs> There's more than one room in the castle. She says that you can't pay any bills because you got all these kids to take care of, right? Yeah, they're taken care of, though. By who? By me. And how do you do that? From the money she gets. By that's right. By from the back of Sh uh, Shantae. From her back, her mouth, whatever needs to be used. Mm. So respectful of the woman that goes out and earns you a living, huh? Hey, that's her job and her that's responsibility. Her job. Yeah, yep. that's what that's what Shantae had when she was growing up. My my whole life, I dream of taking care of some lonely, cowardless pimp. Evidently, that's what she's doing. Been doing it for the last two years, and it's about to stop now. Oh, it's going to stop today. No, it won't. You won't stop it. Her family won't stop it. She's going to keep doing it. She can cry and boo-hoo all she wants, but she's going to keep doing what I tell her to do. Really? Yeah. Just like a little puppy on my stage, Bart. Yeah, yeah, woof, yeah, woof, yeah. Woof, 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 woof. But it's still happening. It's not going to happen. Yeah, you say that. Yeah, I do say that. That doesn't mean anything. Not to you, maybe. Her either. She's going to listen to me, not you. Really? Watch. Why is she here? Because she... I allowed her to be oh, here. Oh, you allowed her. 
Did you pick up the phone and call my show? I, for what? No, exactly. I didn't want to talk to you. Well, but you're here. It was something to do for the day. Something to do for a day. Yeah. Well, you ain't making any money today, right? I don't need to. Oh, wait. May you, She's not the only whore out there. I can hang there. a curtain on this little door here if you like. You have did nothing but belittle me. You made me feel like nothing. Prostitute and beat by you, I feel like nothing. But I see now it's case. more than to it. It's life. And I'm going to get mad back just not with you. You want to... How many kids do you have? Eleven. Eleven? How many boys you got? One. How many girls? Ten. Ten little girls. And someday your little girls, I got to imagine some of them, you got ten kids, some got to be a little older, right? How's your oldest daughter? Twenty. Twenty years old? Yeah. Well, can you tell me what she does for a living? She goes to school. She goes to school. What if someday she runs across a... Because Shantae, Shantae's twenty years old, right? Yeah. Same, your daughter's the same age as Shantae. Mm hmm What if some man was treating your daughter like you're treating Shantae? It wouldn't happen. What if some man it was treating... It wouldn't happen. You're not answering the question. Because it's that's not going to happen. That's what cowards do. What if some man... I'm asking you what you would do, not what your daughter. What you would do if some man was treating your daughter like you're treating Shantae. What would you do as I'll a father? I'll blow his brains out. you blow his brains out. With what? Your mouth? What? I don't need to. <laughs> so if somebody, was hey, if somebody was treating your daughter like that, would you, would you hide behind a closet door? No. No? Well, you'd be out front, setting her, preventing it? It wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen. No. Why is it fair that it doesn't happen to your daughter, but it happens to Shantae? Because she's not my child. So as long as somebody's not your child, you can just abuse the hell and wreck their lives? More or less. More or less. You ever believe in the saying, you reap what you sow? No. So, you're then, then you'll be big daddy if somebody does something wrong to your children, huh? Yeah. You ever fearful what maybe Shantae or some other women that you abused, maybe they got a father? No. No? For you, what? For what? Yeah. Fathers tend to get pissed off when you screw around with their daughters. What is he gonna do? It's the same thing you said you'd do. He ain't gonna do nothing because she's, she's gonna keep doing what I tell her to do. Well, the one thing we can do is do everything we can to make sure that you get locked up and get put behind bars. <laughs> so Shantae came here because she was scared of you. Yeah. She's scared of what you do to her. She's scared of what you make her do. She's scared of everything about it. She said you were a gentleman at one time and that you turned into an animal overnight. You start viciously, be viciously beating her, punching her, kicking her, doing all this stuff to her, and then you make her prostitute. And what's sh so shameful is I sometimes always wonder, a guy like you, you come out here and I'm like, is this guy just being a clown or is this really him? Does he really live his life like this? And it scares me. Like, if you're for real, and, and why wouldn't I believe it? Because I have seen guys like you. You're a joke. You're a disgrace wow. to society. You're a man. disgrace to walk down the streets. Oh, Any man, man that's yeah. truly a man who would see you walking on the street, they'd want to put their Yeah, they may want to, but they're not doing it. And they want to do a lot of things on me and going to be done. Believe that. Believe that. But we'll find out what Shantae has to say. Let's bring her out. She can say a lot of stuff. Don't even start. Don't no. even start. I, brought I don't want you hear. here. I don't care. I am I don't leaving care. you today. Not going How nowhere. dare you sit up? You was in that closet when that man was in there raping me and you sat there not and then raped. what then what you call it? You was then doing what your do job. you call that? What's my call. job? I got beat after the fact. It's over. I cannot deal with this no You're more. Not going nowhere. Yes, I am. You I'm have not. put me through hell and back. Yeah, I am not going to deal with this with you anymore. It's over. 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 It's
20, I'm going to see what life really feel like, and I'm not going to do it with you. You're going to do but what I tell you to do as long as I tell you, tell you to do it. And you, can, you know what? You can find what? another dummy like I was to do it. Cause I got you already. Me, I don't need another one. You ain't got me no more, baby. You want to bet? You want to bet? You ain't going nowhere. And You're going to keep Steve doing help. it. And I got Steve help. You're going to need and more than Steve help. Yeah, okay. Well, Steve, it's over. You have did nothing but belittle me. You made me feel like nothing. Prostitute and beat by you, I feel like nothing. I felt like the only man that I could be with was you. But I see and now it's case. more than two of his life. And I'm going to get mass back, just not with you. You want to bet? You ain't going nowhere. You're going to do what I say when I say do it. Don't hide you behind me. You were sorry. You were sorry. You nothing. You used me. You pimped me. You beat me. You made me lose my baby. I didn't know you I was pregnant. You right. But that's why you shouldn't have beat me. That way you would have had your baby. But no, it's I over. I'm leaving you. I'm letting you know today. You ain't going nowhere. Watch. I'm getting my Watch. life back. You don't have a life back. Right you are just the lowest, scummiest football I've met. I'm now, done with you can you. take your piece of garbage ass and get off my stage. Tomorrow, time, I want you to call me at 1-888-STEVE-07. Don't nobody else put over. up with you or want to be bothered with you. It don't matter. I would be by myself than to be with you. Yeah. You're going to keep working. doing it. You're going to keep doing it. You're not working anymore. You're not working. You're not working anymore. You're not working anymore. See? Yeah. You're See, not, you know what? The, you know what? She's talking tough now because she's here in front of you. She's going to keep doing it. Shantae, hold on a second. Shantae, Shantae, hold on a second. You know what the greatest thing about this story is? You know what the greatest thing about this story is? What's that? Is that one, that you came on and you exposed yourself for who you are. That's the great thing about this show. Look at the camera. All you young ladies out there watching this show, when this punk comes anywhere around you, you know to run. Yeah. And the other great thing about this is you're on TV and you're basically threatening her. You're saying that she's going to come back, she's going to do what you want because you say. That's but, right. That's not a threat. Thing. That's a fact. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you a fact, okay? The fact is that I got a lot of friends. Okay, me and, too. And, and, and my friends wear uniforms with badges here in Chicago. Okay. And the great thing is, you're from Chicago. <laughs> so it's going to be real easy. To go visit my friends. Go visit whoever you want to visit. Ain't nothing going to change, though. Oh, it's going to change. Yeah, right. See, because now I can really, really dive into this issue. Because this is where I live. And? I have a personal vested interest in Chicago. Me I have too. a personal vested interest in the people of Chicago. Me and too. As far as I'm the concerning, tricks. And as far as I'm concerned, Shantae is now my adopted daughter. Okay. So, when you start messing around with my adopted daughter, then I'm going to be the pissed off father. Yeah. You're going to be pissed off. Yeah. Well, she's not going to be pissed off because she's going to keep doing what I tell her to do. Good. And then, so when, just, and then when I get pissed off, then I'm going to hold you accountable. You can hold whatever you and want. And I'm going to hold you accountable, do what right? I tell her to do. And you know what? You're going to be what? holding your ankles when I put you away. Yeah. You are just the lowest, scummiest dirtball I've met. So now, Sir Timothy. That's right. Make sure you pronounce I'm it correctly. I'm done with you. I'm now, done with you. Now, you can take your piece of garbage ass and get off my stage. Without my property. I'm not going nowhere without my property. Get off my stage. Wait, wait, where is he? Where, where is he? 
Where did he go? <laughs> Nobody can make him do anything. He's not on my stage. <laughs> You've been estranged from your family because of you being with Tim. Yeah. So we did manage to get one of your sisters that are here. They're backstage. They're willing to come back in your life because they want you to get away from Tim. And I don't think anybody listening to this story wants you ever to spend another second with Tim. So you do have that going for you because your family, you made the decision that you want to get away from Tim, that this is it, you've, you've had enough, you're not going to put up with it anymore. I think you need to turn to your family for support to stay away from him. If there's if, and anything that you want from us, counseling, somebody to talk to, a place to be, we are going to provide that for you do so you can get out of this relationship, counseling, schooling, any possible thing. And whatever we can do, get the police involved as many times as we not need to lock up Tim. And if he keeps doing it, then we need to put Tim away for a long, long time so he won't bother you. Okay? Don't go back to him, okay? Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go back to him. I will personally pay to have that removed off your arm. I'll take the money out of my own pocket. We'll get that taken off. All right? Okay. I, next time I see you and I want to see you again, I don't want this on your arm. Yep. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank Good luck, you. too.